without him. Are you sure he's in border town? I'm sure. Remember, I want him alive. Huh? Don Carlos will not pay us one peso if he is dead. Come on, Bennett, loosen up. Braddock, these are confiscated weapons. They belong to Her Majesty's government. They belong to me! Shut up, Stevens. You're in enough trouble. You know, I think you should let Her Majesty make a present of these here Winchesters to you. Make a mighty handsome gift. I don't think so. Señores, Alberto Orlando Gonzalez, bounty hunter, at your service. Manuel Martinez, thief, killer. I take him back to Mexico to die. Muchas gracias, señorita. I will be eternally in your debt. <laughs> ah, beautiful town, beautiful women. Hey, señores, you are very fortunate. You got any proof you are who you say you are? Si, 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 si. On behalf of His Excellency, Presidente José de la Cruz Profirio Díaz, greetings. The bearer, Alberto Orlando González, so that's me, señores, travels on official business for the Republica de Mexico. Every assistance given in the fulfillment of his duties will be appreciated. Signed, Armando Casaldo, Capitán General. Oh, yes, uh, I am prepared to pay for everything, señor, in gold. It's in Spanish. Si. You're a long way from Mexico there, senor. Uh... Uh, Gonzalez, si. Uh, I follow him for many months. Maybe we should put him in the back cell. I'll do it. Let's go, amigo. Andale. Will he have a trial in Mexico? Oh, senor, he had his trial two years ago. The sentence was death. Uh, but he escaped. Once we cross the border, he will die. Firing squad. Si, senor. Me. I will be his firing squad. De donde eres? Yo soy de Chihuahua. You ever been by way of Juarez? Si, senor. When I was six, you know, for my grandmother's funeral. Why? It's curious. No es importante. Is 
there some place I can eat? Saloon, down the street. Would you do me the honor of having dinner with me? Oh, no, thank you. I have patients waiting for me. Bueno. Muchas gracias, Corporal. Marshal? Buenas noches, señorita. Jack, what is it? I ain't quite sure, Marie. You act like you know the man, Jack. I used to know 20 men like him. I'll take the prisoner again tomorrow morning. I offered to walk you home, Marie, but... I saw them, Jack. Yeah? So, who do you figure they are? You're thinking Don Carlos, aren't you? He don't give up, you know that. Don't torment yourself, Jack. It was over eight years ago. But it lasts a lifetime, don't it? I'll never forget. Why should he? Hmm? We got two prisoners to feed. Go tell Zach, will you? It's all right. Go ahead. Mr. Stevens, I am formally charging you under Statute 32 of the Constitution Act for selling rifles without a license. How do you plead? I've been trading here for 10 years, and you've been charged twice before. I think we got some trouble. Wampum pouch. Found a dead Indian on the Canadian side of Williams Creek. How was he killed? Knife. You have to show me where, Dom. First light of day. I'll deal with you later. Well, thanks, Corporal. Hey, hey. Back. Back. <sighs> okay, Marshal. I've got it. You bequeath all your Mexican possessions to Willie. Right, good. And my badge. I know Willie'd like to have that, too. My hat. To Jake, I leave all my clothes. And this knife. My daddy gave me this knife. They were good friends. It'd mean a lot to Jake to have it. Right. Bennett gets uh, all my guns, my horses, my saddles, and my bridles. Uh, not so fast. Sorry. That's OK. To Maria, I leave all my money. Whatever you get from selling the rest of my possessions and the land here and the cabin. You understand? Yes. Wendell, can I tell her what to do with the money? Yes, of course. Uh, you can have a, a stipulation. Sure. All right. Uh, tell her to spend the money on a trip. A trip to San Francisco or somewhere as nice like it, all right? Very well. Sign there. My pleasure. Thanks to Marie, I can do this now. Pardon me for asking, Marshal, but uh, why this sudden interest in uh, having a will? Just thought I ought to tend to it is all. Just a feeling. Especially in your line of work? You might say that. If you ain't got me, uh, Backup. I think you should just borrow one of these uh, Winchesters of Stevens here. 
I told you before, Craddock, they don't belong to me. Besides, I got Dom. He can't shoot straight. Don't seem like much of a comfort to me. No offense, Dom. None taken, Marshal. Take a rifle, Corporal. Take two. Hey, what about me? Marshal? Si, si, un minutito. Buenos dias, Marshal. I come to see my prisoner. Hey. Ah, ah. Sus manos, Marshal. Por favor. Mount be right back here. <laughs> no, senor. You are wrong. See, your friend has gone to examine the body of the Indian who stole my horse yesterday. You killed him. Pues si. Marshal. Hey, Marshal, you back there? Ah! One sound, and the senorita dies. Comprende? Si. Hola, abuelo. I brought food for the prisoners. Where's the marshal? Oh, he went with the corporal. I, I remain to guard the prisoners. Ay, 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 ay. You treat your prisoners too well, senor. <laughs> this cucaracha does not deserve such food. I'll be back later for the tray. Oh, see you later. Let's get out of here now. First, I go find another horse. Don't let anyone inside, huh? Corporal, why did Gonzalez bring his prisoner to border town? To put him in prison. Mexico South. Why did he come so far out of his way? He's here for another reason, though. Let's go back. Marie, we got to keep them here until Bennett gets back. What do they want? Me. Something that happened when you were a Texas Ranger? No, before that. Jack. Some years back, I had a little ranch near El Paso, down in Texas. I was married. We had a little girl. I didn't know. Anyhow, there was trouble back and forth across the border. This rich patron named Don Carlos, out of Juarez, put a price on my head. Two of his pistoleros kidnapped my wife, my little girl, and killed him. I went after him. In the fight, I killed his son. He swore revenge. Why don't you shut your mouth, Marshal? Or what? Or I'll blow your brains out. Oh, really? <laughs> Both of us know Don Carlos wants me alive, now don't we? The lady he don't care about. All right, you made your point.
Has anyone seen the marshal since I left? Gonzalez said the marshal went with you. The marshal's in trouble. I know it. Mom. Watch the office. Tell me if anything moves. Don, go to the general store. Tell Sally to get you three guns and some ammo. Has anybody seen Marie? Her shawl. I saw it in your office. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go in. And when Don gets back, this is what I want you to do. I have a strong horse for you, senor. If you try anything, I kill her. Do you understand me, Senor Marshal? Leave her out of this. She's got nothing to do with it. Shut up! Into the front now. What do we do with him? Kill him. With your knife, estupido. Your prisoner might need some extra protection. Silencio, put your rifle on the table. You're surrounded, Gonzalez. I'm not going to get out of here alive. I do not think that the good people of Border Town would like me to shoot the pretty lady. And now they're gone. Martinez, take the marshal and the lady to the horses. Pronto! down out there, Corporal. Just about. I leave, and I take him with me. You leave, and those people out there will kill you. Him I keep alive. You and the lady, I don't care, comprende? Tu abre la puerta. I kill them all if you shoot. Tell them. Hold your fire. Come on. The mountain. I have a bullet for him. You all right, Marie? I think so, Clyde. Never thought I'd see you with a gun in your hand again. Obliged, old friend. Well, I knew one day they'd come for me. And he won't send a Mexican next time. It'd be a gringo like me. Do you have any pictures of your daughter and wife? No. No, they burned the ranch house to the ground. I lost everything. Willie's about the age that your daughter would have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're here to protect you. 
And to amuse you. And to keep you out of trouble. You know, I'm beginning to wonder how I ever managed before I met you two. You know that? You're safe in our hands, Jack. Admit it. Well, I got to admit one thing. That was clever thinking on your part, Clive. Cutting that saddle cinch like that. It was a gamble. How so? <sighs> what if you would have gotten on that horse instead of Gonzalez? Never thought of that. Where's my gun? Craddock? You know, I've been thinking about it, Clive, and uh, it appears to me that Her Majesty ain't never gonna know that Stevens had 18 of these instead of 16. All right. Cut your kidding. Where is my gun? Otto melted it down. What? <laughs> he melted it down? <laughs> he melted it <laughs> down? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.